right here showing how to um, start basically using uh, timidity for MIDI composition so the first thing is to uh, put some open timidity I had to use Rose Garden sorry for MIDI composition so use timidity I A like that and that gives you that which will allow us to um, play the sound back from the uh, the MIDI so let's open Rose Garden that's the latest version 1106 at this point okay so we've got we got to uh, Rose Garden here a few uh, special parameters so we've got all the information here now we need to open click onto the pencil then acoustic grand piano here right we need to link the uh, the sound so what we do here let's open this minimize no that's okay so let's um you go to the bot zero here port zero you link it with the port zero that is the lowest on the on the um on this um media output thing yeah so we've got that link with that now if you go back to the top you'll see there's another one here zero as well or that one we don't want either of these we want the lowest one the most recent one okay so that's done close that so i uh, got grand piano here make the volume maximum so we can hear it because i'm going to play it for my speakers double click on that that's um or I'll just say open in matrix editor or set it to that so we open in the matrix editor widen it so we can see where the notes are in relation to the, the writing so let's have a click here hope you can hear that can to bump up the sound a bit while we do this so it comes out in my speakers okay so go so something like that okay three notes take this down uh, here we go like that and here and then we've got a loop basically okay so we can change that or we can leave it like that now to rename so you just double click on that and then put piano here so we know what we've got for the first line piano line then uh, let's put some drums straight away now drum is a bit different so you have to do uh, the second one we'll pick the second one here actually no for drum we always have to go for 10 10 standard that's the one for that one okay 10 standard so we'll do another line of here now we've got that as drums we'll put this on maximum volume double click on that it will open like that for drums although there's other ways of doing it too but that's kind of fine so we can play while well we do that so we know where to place our drums so put maracas on there maybe two together Yeah, okay, and you can put a uh, cowbell or something. Okay, so that's that's two lines. Uh, let's put a bass line so we can put drums here. There's another way to do the drums which is probably better. Let's um let's add a second um, instrument here uh, do go to the piano here manage mini devices and then we're going to create a new device here so new click on new then on packs then on uh, import and uh, this is a good one here, Alexis. There's quite a few of them. Have a look. Oops, sorry, shut that instead of opening it. Now, import, uh, import. That's to maximize. Okay, so pick the Alexis Q6 here. It's quite a good one. 
open that. Uh, overwrite the banks, yes, we can merge them, we can overwrite it. If we merge them, you have, uh, if we overwrite the banks, we've got just uh, the new one. If you merge them, you have both of them, which is the general MIDI on the other one, but we just don't need that. So there you go, Alexis is now in there. So we've got, we've got two different things here, right? We also need to bring the new one to the sound. So as I said earlier, there's a second one here. So the bottom one, not zero, because we've already got that port zero here, port one. Doom, see port one here, okay? So now we've got sound for that as well. Uh, let's, I'm gonna mush, mush, move this down here because the drum is better done that way. So if we right click here. Now we, we I'm gonna put all the general MIDI down to the 10 here. So they don't clash when you mix at the end. Alexis Q here, I put it on 10, so that will be drums again. Anything D is for drums there, so. And I will write it as drums, so we know what we've got. All right, and then what we do is, uh, well it doesn't matter here because the sound will put to maximum, so we've got the drums. Let's have a look, see we've got the drums already. Yes, we do. And the thing is now, the thing is now is that if we double click on here, it will present itself in a more. Wow. Let's take all these drums out, delete that, and change again. So you don't know the names of them there, but you can actually put them one by one. It, see like that, much much easier. Again, back to the pencil. So let's try a different type of drum. Different type of drum. So something like that. Let's try that. Let's, let's see what that sounds like. Well, may maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not that here. Let me just stop that. Okay. Uh, maybe something like. There's so many. Oh, right, that's nice. Okay, let's put that here. Sorry, that one here was. Let's try that. Try the pencil again. Yeah. Let's try that again. You can move them across as well quite easily. Like that. Change the piano line because it's a bit irritating. So double click on that. Yeah, okay, so let's take all of, uh, all of these notes out and play again the drum beat. And put Okay, and uh, well the, the 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 drums aren't so good. Let's put a bass just to add to that, and then we'll show how to save it. Uh, double click here, put bass, and then let's pick the bass from. We'll go, we'll go down to the. We'll go to. Okay, I've got two choices now. We've got Alexis Q S six or General MIDI device. We'll go that. So we've got piano on the first one. We leave that. We'll go for the second one. All right, and then we pick bass here. Uh, looping bass here, yeah, acoustic bass. Yank the sound up to the max because we want to make sure that it's heard in relation to the other two. And then, bing. Let's put some, let's play that again. And put some bass on here. So again, widen it. That's what we got. Not a very nice music right now, but uh, definitely um, three instruments playing. Okay, so that's how you do it. And then you can save it. You can export to MIDI 
you can save save the file, the uh, rose garden file that way. That's one way of doing it. But export MIDI file to say desktop. Yeah, well, any any way you want, basically. Uh, desktop. And then you name it whatever you want, and you've got a MIDI file. Okay. And then a MIDI file you can turn to a WAV if you wish. So um, let's, let's just recap on that. Okay, we've got uh, the two different types of. We've got. You can only put two. You can't put more than that that I'm aware of. But that's a lot of a lot of sounds, a lot of different things you can do already. Okay, hope that explains it a little bit. And um, yep. Yeah.